Hi, my name is Rohit and uh, welcome to the part 4 of Spring Glue Advanced Add-on Tutorial. We will move to the part where we are trying to add this add-on to sample class and inject this code over there. This operation comes into picture when we say my first add-on add method which internally calls annotate type. The way this code works is this. We get a Java type argument which is the class in which we want to inject the field and the method. Now there's a lot of code which is Spring Glue specific code which tells you uh, how to modify a Java class but ultimately what we really require is a mutable class or interface type details. This is the metadata of a class which of a mutable class or interface. By mutable what we mean is the class is not final and we can inject our own methods or fields to this class. So ultimately when we get a mutable type details of the class which we just passed, which is the sample class, what we really want to do is we want to create an annotation of this type which is seen over here. This is how we declare annotations in Java and it says it has a retention policy of being in a source. So annotation stays, stays over there. So what we really want to do is we want to take this annotation and I took an annotation builder and I said okay, okay I want to create an annotation of this type. What I do then is I just tell that okay in the metadata of the sample class I want to simply add the annotation. This achieves the result this. Now that is just one part of it. What we really want to do is we want to go ahead and generate this particular ITD. Now this part is comes in a different class. Now over here we have something called as a metadata provider. It's a service, it's a OSGS service. The service gets activated whenever we try to add this add-on. So the moment we try to add this add-on, this class gets activated. And the moment we remove this, it gets deactivated. Now, from this class, we get a reference to another class called as metadata. This is the metadata which we want to use to create the ITD file. Now, if you just see, it also has something called as a builder. And this builder is actually ITD type details builder. That means using this builder, we can generate the underscore aj file. Now what we are simply trying to say over here is that we want to add a sample field and a sample method. The field is added as private, name is sample field and is of type string. And the method has a body called as this, which is declared over here. It's public, void, and uses this body. So that is how That is how this ITB file gets generated. Let's go again through it. Command add call operations annotate. Operation annotate calls this. Over here we have passed the Java type. We want to get the mutable class or interface details. Using that, we will add the annotation which we just created from glue first add-on over here. This will inject the my first two add-on over there. Once this is done, it triggers this class called as metadata provider. It is triggered by the roof my first add-on. This ultimately uses the class called as my first add-on metadata. This class has a builder for the AJ file, the ITD file. In this, we are adding a sample field and a sample method. And that's what does the work. So that's in short how we add ITDs to Spring Root. Thank you.